You guys, welcome back. We are doing our discussion now of A Wrinkle in Time, the teaser trailer. Yes, it was a teaser trailer, so I just needed to make sure. We just watched the trailer. If you want to see our reaction, clink on the clink, click on the link <laughs> in the description below. Cheers. <laughs> you read the book? Yes. A long time ago. Okay, I don't know the book. I'm not familiar with the story whatsoever, but... I think they made it a required reading for like junior high or high school. I can't, like very early on. It looks really cool. It does. I love Mindy calling. I've only seen her in comedies. And okay. so I was like, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. She's the one from The Office, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. when I heard you talk, mentioning her earlier, I, I thought that was the woman from The Office, but I didn't recognize her in the trailer there. She looks so different in here, but yeah. she, it all, also fits very well. She yeah. doesn't look out of place, which was my fear with her because she's very like her and she's great at being her and I've seen her always play that kind of like yeah. you know it's my character it's it's mildly amusing to me that there are two comedians in this playing serious, serious roles, roles. <laughs> I bet they'll bring some like cool light to it too though because they can't stop being them I'm sure I can never say Zach's last name correctly so I just say Zach now because there's only one Zach so everyone will know what you're talking right. about right when I heard Chris Pine's voice at the beginning I'm like I know that sexy calming voice <laughs> I don't know where I know it from, but it's so familiar. I need to see a face. And then they showed his face. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that's okay. Him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Captain Kirk. Thank you. I love Chris Pine. Actually, I think he's so awesome. I learned about him from Star Trek. And then I saw him again in Wonder Woman recently. So good in And I was there. like, this guy is oh my gosh. so awesome. I hope that he becomes part of the new set of action stars. Isn't yeah. he already? Kind of? Sort of. He's sort of. The only action star we truly have right now is Chris Pratt. Mm -hmm. I love the visuals in this trailer. Right? That's the first thing I noticed. I was like, this is beautiful. Yeah. I'm very much into to that whole sci-fi, time-bending, multi-dimensional, multi-universe type of concepts. I used to watch a lot of the universe, uh, History Channel's the universe, and stuff like that on Netflix, just gobbling up as much as I could of those concepts, and so it's really neat to see that kind of stuff. There's like weird concepts that they introduced in that show that still are strange to me even today, where they go, if you have a thought of a decision to make, like you're gonna go left or you're gonna go right, and you go left, there's another dimension out there you've instantly created, essentially, where you went right. Yeah. I'm like, how does that, all how the, does that make any sense? All the possibilities, yeah. yeah. And so, the, the multi-dimensional theory is just interesting to me. The multi-versions of our dimension is interesting to me. And I, I think they're sort of exploring that here where you're seeing that street, the cul-de-sac with all the people on every single corner. You could have picked any of those houses to live at. I don't even know they, what that means. They actually but. have a show that explores that. It's like the forensics, but the division that does all the weird stuff. Anyways, they just explore that because they like have to live through all these options to try to figure out the one that they don't die in or something like that. It oh, was like, like a, Groundhog's Day. It was so good. Yeah. Though. It was, but it's cool because they were like, that's what happens. You live through all, of, or you create all these scenarios already. They've already been thought out. I'm definitely going to check this out. This looks like a lot of fun. And also, I forgot to mention, I really like the little girl they chose for this film, the main character. What I love about her is that she looks like your average little girl. She doesn't look like a dolled up Hollywood little girl, you know what I mean? Where they seem like adults shrunk down into a child's body. She legitimately seems like a little girl kind of thrown into this situation that's way larger than life, even mm -hmm. for an adult. I like the casting choice here. You know with Oprah being cast in there, they're going to be choosing very grounded people. I don't know anything about Oprah and and, uh, and her acting abilities, so I I'll defer to you on that. <laughs> you guys, if you've ever been interested in what equipment I use in my videos and what I shoot with, there are links in the description below if you purchase from those links, it helps support the channel. Also, if you want to get a Jabby Kuwait t-shirt of any kind, we got Jabby swag now. It's called Jamazing Swag, and you can find that link in the description below as well. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out Shermita on the social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, video game related videos. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is... Shermita Patacharya. Peace out.